No, it's not a day for celebrating white supremacy. White Day is the sequel to Valentine's Day. So, Valentine's Day Part 2, basically. The concept of White Day first originated in Japan 1977, when a guy by the name of Zengo Ishimura was reading a woman's magazine to gain inspiration for a sweets company, Ishimura Monsato. As he was reading the magazine, he came across his inspiration, which came in the form of a letter submission by a woman essentially talking about how Valentine's Day is a bit unfair since there's no give and take, and there's only take and take, and that the men don't return the favor of the gifts given to them on Valentine's Day, and how the woman should at least get something too, even if it's stuff like handkerchiefs, candy, or marshmallows. Now, Zango saw this and thought, huh. If I'm understanding this correctly, based on the words of this one individual, women would be fine with just getting sweets as a gift. And I own a company that makes sweets. Mm-hmm. Yep. Smells like money to me. So he went around asking his female employees about what day they would like this new tradition to take place on. The consensus ended up being March 14th, exactly one month after Valentine's Day. And so began the foundations for White Day. The Ishimura company decided to announce this day as Marshmallow Day, with the company mass-producing marshmallows for men to give to women. And of course, they also made bank. Then a year later in 1978, after the National Confectionery Industry Association was inspired by Marshmallow Day, they decided to instate White Day as an official holiday, a day created so that both genders could experience the joy of giving and receiving. Something you, the viewer, would know nothing about. In other words, White Day was just a corporate scheme created by sweets companies to rake in profits. Marshmallow Day was later suggested to be renamed White Day because marshmallows are white. But there's also people that say White Day was named to represent the pure color of sugar used in sweets. Then there are people that say white is to counterbalance the red of Valentine's Day. And since white symbolizes purity in Japan, some even speculate that it symbolizes the purity of love amongst youths. But generally, white day still holds the same meaning of reciprocating love, regardless of what the white may symbolize. The official name of the holiday in Japan is White Dore, which is just a romanization of white day. The typical slogan for white day is usually Ai ni kotaeru white day, which means answer love on white day. White Day gives men a chance to show appreciation for the gifts they received on Valentine's Day by returning a gift to the person that gave you a gift on Valentine's Day, with boys giving chocolates to female friends or colleagues. There are other nations that also partake in White Day, mostly nations in the Asian regions like China and South Korea. But as with most holidays, there's no restriction on who can celebrate the holiday. As long as you choose to, you can celebrate White Day by yourself. I doubt you have anyone to share gifts to, Uzo. Anyways, there are a few categories of gifts in White Day. Giri choco are obligatory chocolates, usually given to family, teachers, friends, or other guys you know. Homemade choco are true love chocolates, which are usually in higher quality, given to romantic partners or to someone you hope to be your romantic partner. Homemade gifts other than chocolate include jewelry or scarves, preferably in white, and of course are expected to be more elaborate and expensive. White flowers can also be given, or the recipient's favorite flower, to show just how much you care about them. In the case that you were given a homemade gift on Valentine's Day, and you can't reciprocate your feelings, when White Day comes along, you're expected to let her down as gently as possible by explaining how you feel in person or via a note, with a gift of equal value as the one she got you rather than the usual triple value. Since a gift of equal value is considered as a way to say you're ending the relationship, not returning a gift on white day basically implies that the guy is a pretentious, high and mighty prick, even if the guy had an excuse ready. The gifts themselves are usually handmade cookies, candies, and chocolates, and the gift is expected to be three times the value of the gift given to you on Valentine's Day, and of course it's preferable if the gift is white. And since Japan is a country fond of symbolism, the types of gifts themselves also have symbolic meanings. Chocolates, for example, are rich and sensual, so it typically represents romantic feelings, 
making it a go-to option if you have zero doubts about how you feel towards someone. As for cookies, the dryness and crunchiness of cookies, as you can probably guess, depicts dryness. It's used to represent platonic relationships, basically the friend zone. Then there are macaroons, which are an annoying present to interpret. Macaroons can represent a special friendship or something more. However, don't confuse macaroons with macarons. There is a difference somehow. Candy is something you usually keep inside your mouth to slowly savor, so it's usually given to someone you like more than a friend. I'm not entirely sure who you're supposed to give candy to, but if I'm interpreting it correctly, you give it to your bestie or lifelong homie. And lastly, marshmallows. Marshmallows dipped in chocolate were once popular gifts used to symbolize pure love. But since marshmallows are basically 50% air, they disintegrate quickly. So the meaning shifted to representing flimsy feelings, and were seen as an I don't like you gift. Despite this, marshmallows are still a popular gift even today. So with all of this being said, if you decide to partake in White Day, choose a gift with consideration. But since most people probably don't know the full extent of these elaborate meanings for certain gifts on such a detailed level, it's probably fine if you just buy whatever. Then again, this is coming from someone who's been forever single. In conclusion, White Day is yet another constant reminder that you're single. Goodbye, and enjoy the rest of the day by your lonesome.